All right. Well, hey everyone. Today we're going to be talking about narrowing a Ford nine-inch rear end. So I've been wanting to get this video for a while, but with the busy schedule I have, I haven't been around to do it. But as we can see, we have two rear ends here. The one here, I've taken the axle tube out of. We're getting ready to narrow it. So as you can see, the welds here, I cut behind the weld and then knocked the axle tube out of the center section there. So that's what, and then of course, what we would do to narrow it, since I'm narrowing this thing about four inches, this is a 58 and a half inch Torino housing. We're gonna cut it right here and then pound it back in there get it all squared up and weld it back together. This is a, one, another housing that I built at one time. This is a cambered rear end. Uh, I'm not going to camber the one I'm building. It's way more work than what I could see worth it. But anyway, it's the same thing happened here. You know, I, I, I did the same thing here. I cut here, and then I pounded it back in, welded it, squared it all up. In that case, I made a cambered rear end out of it. So that's what we're doing. Now, as far as axles go, with a uh, Torino rear end, you know, your rear ends, one axle is going to be shorter than the other. So what I would do is I would just get a rear end and I'd find another rear end just like, and I'd pull the two short axles so, so they would fit. Because if you look over here, so you have the long axle here, and I have two short axles. So that's what I did. I, I would just get the short axles because they're like three and a half inches shorter. And then on one side, I would just cut off a little bit. That's what I do. It's just junkyard technology at your best. And then you can see um, on this, uh, this one's a disc brake rear end. So I just have uh, full size rear brake calipers um, for that. You know, this is going into a dirt car right here. It's my car right here. So, and then once we weld it together, we'll get it all squared up in the car. It's a lot of work, but just to give you some ideas, if you're planning on building a rear end yourself for, you know, a drag car or a circle car, track car or anything like that. So anyway, we hope everybody's having a good day. We'll talk with you later. Bye.